All right, guys, this can get very bad. I'm going to give you guys some key levels on a couple of stocks, okay? We don't want these levels to break. If they break, there's going to be a downward movement, okay? So we're going to go over a couple of stocks, key levels, what I'm looking for, and a general overview of the market. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that like button below. Let's try to get this video over 200 likes. 200 likes. I know you guys can do it. Subscribe if you are new. The first stock that I'll be talking about today is AMC, ticker symbol AMC. This is what I was worried about. So hopefully you guys have been listening to me on the videos I've been making on AMC because I kept telling you guys don't buy at high prices because this type of up, upper trajectory movement just straight up is going to present a hard downward fall if there's no pullback. So as you can tell, let's take that off. Let's zoom in some. As you can tell, it went up to about $34 normal hours and it dropped all the way down now to about $21. Let me go out so you show the, let me see if I can show you guys the percentage. Let me go a little lower. So it's down over like 30, I'll say about 37, 38% down in just a couple days, okay? That's why I didn't want you guys to get trapped up in here. We'll also go over GME. I didn't want you guys to get trapped in here. I want you guys to kind of be safe on it. That's why I was kind of giving you guys these levels to look out for. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Do not forget, make sure you join the team. First link in the description to know when I'm buying and selling for options and shares, to know uh, what stocks I'm looking at, how I'm looking at the market, if there's buying pressure confirmed, if resistance is breaking through, if we're heavy on the stock, all the key information. Also, if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join VIP. VIP is where I actually teach you how to trade. Okay, so it's more than just signals. You're actually coming to learn how to trade to better yourself in this trading career. Now, AMC, old level we had right here was about $26, okay? Look how price came up here. It dropped, came back up. Look at that beautiful resistance. That was one signal that I did not want to buy, okay? Look at that beautiful resistance, fell lower, and then boom, start falling lower. Now, remember what I told you guys. Major, major important level was $22. We do not want this to break. Notice how... Let me go down to the five minute chart so you can kind of see it. Notice how it did not break uh, Monday. See how we look at this huge drop. See how it fell down there and went straight back up. That is something that I wanted, right? To be bullish on it. I was waiting today for that to confirm and look how it broke right here. That is bad. Okay. We did not want that to break. We have one more level that could act as support. If this breaks, we're for sure going below $20. Okay. Now, if there's buying pressure at this level, then we should be good to go. I'll probably buy some more shares of AMC. I just want to make sure we have some clean levels to kind of look at. The uh, last level that we should be looking at around now is about $21. So hopefully AMC does not break $21 today. If it does break it by market close, I will update you guys on what I'll be doing with some AMC, if I'll be playing it or not. But $21 is a big level that we want to be watching right now currently, okay? And I think we have some resistance maybe around $24 or so, but I don't think the resistance right now is very important. I think this level down here around $21 is the most important, okay? So make sure you watch that level on AMC. Second one, GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME, ticker symbol GME. Now, remember, Will Knowledge shirts, they will be coming out this week sometime soon on uh, www.willknowledge.com. It's only gonna be these shirts. Once these sell out, then I'll do some more shirts, new designs and all that, okay? So we'll just go slowly if you want to support the campaign. That'll be up sometime this week. I'll let you guys know. So ticker symbol GME. Let's take that off. Big level we did want to break was $163. Look how it held here. Held here. If we zoom in, it came down quick, but it went right back up to it, right? That's still bullish. Came down here, went right back up to it. That's bullish. Notice how today is actually tested as a resistance. It broke, came back up to it, tested as resistance perfectly. The level I gave was 163. The high of this candle was 162.99. You can see it right there. Test as resistance, then started to fall. That's why I did not want to buy GME. But GME actually has a stronger support level than um, AMC does. Okay, actually has a stronger support level than AMC does. Support level that I'm kind of looking at right now is about 150. So it's about five dollars away from that. And like I said, if it breaks this level today um, by market close. I'll update you guys on something else that I'm looking to do because I am looking to play both of them, AMC and GME. We just got to make sure we get those right entries, especially right now in this market condition. It's very up and down, right? So you kind of want to be a little safer, play shares. I'm starting to play a little more shares and options because I'm starting to notice 
like when you get an option and the stock moves straight sideways, that's going to kill your options. So even though you're right and it drops, you won't make as much money. So it's kind of pointless. So I'm starting to do more shares type of plays than options. But just make sure you join the team first link in the description to know all that key information. And also, if you want to join, we're doing a live Zoom today with our students and VIP. Make sure you join up for VIP because I'll be kind of going over the market conditions also and what I'll be looking for, like my top plays. But G, GME for GameStop, 150, major level. Resistance level isn't important right now. This level is important, okay? Watch that level. Some other stocks that I wanted to go over was Twitter, okay? Twitter is going up crazy. Remember these levels that I gave you guys. First buying level I wanted to buy was around 48. That's why I felt comfortable buying, even though it was high compared to where it came from because it came from about like $40, okay? So let me write this on here. The ticker symbol is TWTR. And I'm added in here because I saw a lot of comments on this one, TWTR. So I don't want you guys trying to chase this price. We had a resistance level up here. It opened above it, broke down, came back up to it, tested as resistance, came back down, went back up to it. Second time, tested as another resistance and falling down. So I am expecting uh, some movement downward on Twitter, but I actually have a new level that I want you guys to look at. Because if this level kind of acts as support, that might be the time to kind of play like a shorter term scalp on uh, Twitter. And it's right around $51. So $51 kind of holds as a support that could be a potential play to actually get in for a scalp. So I won't be holding it too long or anything like that. Just a potential scalp at that um, $51 level. So that's kind of the new level that I want to give you guys. I might update you guys later on in the market depending on how it moves. But for right now, I kind of just watch that level. Um, no really uh, resistance level right now either. It's kind of moved up pretty quickly. So next one is SoFi. SoFi is having a big pullback as you can see right now on that five minute chart. This is the five minute chart. So let's go to SoFi real quick. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button down below. I really appreciate it. We can get the video over 200 likes. So SoFi, ticker simple S-O-F-I. I do have a long-term position on here that I don't plan on selling for years to come. So that's fine with me. I just hold those. And I also have a shorter term position. Okay, I have a shorter term position. I think it might be down right now. I'm not, I can't remember how much. I have to check right now. But we're having some heavy pullback right here. And the buying level that I had right here actually did not show any buying pressure and actually broke almost came up to the test as resistance and broke lower so that is getting bad but one last level around nine dollars and forty cents look how this level acts today this might potentially present some buying pressure i actually want to do some calls uh, i kind of want to do like some 2024 calls just to see but i might do call options here i'm kind of iffy on doing options in general in this type of market but if we get that good enough buying pressure at that 940 level, I think it might be time. So that's kind of the level that I'm looking at right now, trying to update you guys on a couple of these stocks. And so make sure you watch that one because that's very key today. We want to see if that holds. If that kind of breaks, then I'm pretty sure we're going to see SoFi like to the $8 marks or so. And then once we get down to the $8 marks, I'll just buy uh, shares longer term anyway. So that's for SoFi. That's something I was watching on SoFi. So let's go to Ontarian, ticker symbol A-T-E-R. A T E R. Let me put this one on here and let me know if you guys like this type of video uh, in the morning, like around 12 p.m. Central Time. Kind of giving you guys some updates to some levels that we talked about yesterday, kind of updating you guys while the market is still happening. So let me know if you guys like this in the comment section down below. So ticker symbol A T E R this is what we're going over right now. Notice how this resistance level that I gave you guys, that's why I say do not miss a video. I give you guys key levels in the market every day. Just don't miss a video. Look at the resistance level I gave you guys at $4. Hit once, twice, three times, four times, five times, and then we had a down day. All this right here should tell you not to buy, right? All this right here should tell you that I'm not buying it. Look at that. Beautiful resistance levels hit. It came down. So that's what we're still looking out for. But we still kind of have that buying level at about $3.35. But I actually think I might want to change that lower. I think I'm going to put this down to about $3.10. Sense. I just feel a little more comfortable having that buying level a little bit lower since that resistance level was a little heavier on the downside. We want to be watching this level now, just around $3.10. I think that's a new buying level. Like I said, I'll probably update you guys later, but for right now, this is the main level, only level I'm watching for buying pressure and support on ticker simple ATR. Now, if this breaks, then that could potentially start getting bad and we'll probably see it below $3, okay, which we don't want it to see. I don't want to see it go below $3 because that means it's kind of losing this buying pressure. And we want that buying pressure to stay high. 
Notice how the volume also picked up here, but it's kind of dying down. So that's something that uh, might be bad to, to start bringing it lower, but we'll kind of watch it as it goes on. Let's go over Sundell also, because Sundell has been pulling down. Ticker symbol SNDL. Make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button. Also join up for the buy and sell signals. First link in the description. And if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join VIP, okay? And you can also pay for the memberships once a year. We have a yearly fee now, so make sure you check that out. So resistance level right around 75 cents, hit there, hit there, brought it down. Buying level right around 63 cents, came close here. Seems like it's coming down there now. This is the last level, okay? So this is, if it breaks this, that's when it gets bad. Watch this 64 level today, 63 cents level today. I want to update you guys on this one because this is the main level we need to be watching. If that breaks, then I see it going to the 50s and it could get bad from there, okay? I still have a price target. I want Sundell to get up to a dollar. It's just because the bill didn't do good. So it was just a lot of hype in it. That's how we got this first run. If I go out to the 90 day, 30 minutes, that's how we got this first run, right? It's usually buy the rumor, sell the news. No news came out, so it's just slowly dripping down. Last level we need to be watching is right around that 63 cents area. And then next one I'm looking at is Mullen, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Let me write out the ticker symbol here too, because we need to talk about this one. Uh, it is breaking its buying level currently. So a big update might come on this one um, later today. Let me know if you guys want to update on Mullen. Just say update on Mullen so I know. Ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Now let me go to the five minute chart. You had a resistance level, hit right there, almost hit again. And look at the buying level. Buying level is acting as a support. Buying level is acting as a support. So what I actually want to do is I'm going to turn this level to a support. I do see one last buying level. Because remember what I told you guys, if it breaks uh, an important level, I will sell the shares and I will buy again. Because if it breaks the important level, that means it's going to go lower. So I'll sell the shares and I'll buy again at a cheaper price. Okay. No point of holding a losing play like this if I know it's going to go down. So support level right now is $2.70. Big update on this one, because if this support breaks today, because it can still hold. So by the time the market closes, I'm going to check. If this uh, if this price level right here broke today, then that could be very bad. But I see one more level I'm looking to buy shares at. Okay, so watch this main level today, $2.70. If that breaks, it could start getting bad on this one. But I also think this one's going to be kind of like a slow mover. So I don't think we're going to see these type of pops. This just came the CEO is like somebody a big company is buying their vans and stuff like that a lot of heavy money is going in here that's why they had that run from like 52 cents to like three dollars so it's still up considerably from where it came from do not forget right try not to get uh caught up in these one day movements remember where it came from it came from 50 52 cents so it's still up over 400 percent it was all the way up like 700 percent it cut off about 300 percent so any down movement right now it can go all the way down to a dollar 40 and it'll still be up crazy amounts, right? It'll still be up 170%. So that's why I'm kind of saying right now, we kind of want to be safe on this one because I could see some harder down pull on this one. So kind of watch that big support level right around that $2.70 uh, area. And then I want to go over in the video real quick, ticker symbol NVDA. This one's having some hard sell off. I did buy this one long term. I have it in my long term right now. I am up on it a little bit, but a key level we don't want in the video to break is 260. Because if that breaks, then that could present some more downward pressure on the video. Let me, 260, big, big, big level we want to be watching out for. Let me put that on the chart. I'm going to turn this level orange. Okay, so big level we need to be watching right now, right there. Don't want this to break today. If it breaks today, I'm pretty sure we can see in the video back to the 250s or 240s. I will be buying more long-term shares on the video, but I kind of want to see what this happens. If this happens, that can get very bad, and we're going to see it drop. But if this kind of holds, I think that would be the time to actually get some heavy shares and call options for shorter term. So watch that 260 level today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.